Riding the Coattails, a guide to understanding and using this English phrase. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring a particularly interesting phrase, riding the coattails. This expression has a rich history and a variety of applications in everyday English. Whether you're a language enthusiast or looking to polish your English skills, understanding phrases like this one can greatly enhance your fluency and comprehension. So, let's get started and unravel the meaning and usage of riding the coattails. The phrase, riding the coattails, refers to the act of benefiting from someone else's success, efforts, or popularity, without making a similar level of contribution or having the same qualifications. It's akin to hitching a ride on someone else's achievements. The origin of this expression is quite literal, dating back to when people wore coats with long tails. It metaphorically suggests someone holding on to the coattails of a more successful person to move forward or upward in society, career, or other endeavors. Historically, coattails were part of men's formal attire, notably worn during significant events. Politicians and influential figures often wore coats with long tails, and the idea was that someone lesser known or influential could gain recognition or success by being figuratively carried by them. Over time, riding the coattails evolved from this literal image to a metaphorical phrase used to describe gaining advantage or progress through association with someone more successful. 1. In politics, a candidate might be said to be riding the coattails of a more popular party member if they win an election more because of their association with that person than their own merits. 2. In the workplace, an employee could be considered riding the coattails of a more accomplished colleague if they receive a promotion or recognition largely due to their association with that colleague, rather than their own hard work. 3. In social situations, Someone might ride the coattails of a popular friend to gain entry into exclusive social circles or events. Understanding when and how to use this phrase can add depth to your English communication. Riding the coattails is often used in a slightly negative context, as it implies gaining success or advantage through someone else's efforts. However, it's also used humorously or lightly in casual conversations. Here's how you might use it. When discussing someone's success, do you think he got that job on his own? Or was he just riding the coattails of his famous sister? In a political discussion, the newcomer rode the coattails of the incumbent to secure a spot on the council. And there you have it. Understanding the phrase, riding the coattails, can enrich your English vocabulary and help you appreciate the nuances of language learning. It's a fantastic example of how historical practices can influence modern language. We hope this exploration has been insightful and adds value to your journey in mastering the English language. Remember, language is not just about grammar and vocabulary, it's also about the stories and history behind the words we use. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.